What's up guys, this is PitFans43 or WL Freak with the secondary Saturday or Sunday, which is today. Sorry it's a little late, but I had a lot of time. I uh, do a lot of like, projects and crap. But here it is anyways. This is the Scorpion with um, no attachments, I believe. And it's with using the perks of Blind Eye, Assassin, and Steady Aim. What I recommend with the Scorpion because of the extremely strong bullets in it, I would probably want to have Steady Aim, um, Extreme Conditioning to Rush, as well as I want to have either Assassin or Blast Shield to stay away from the UV or take those grenades. The thing about the Scorpions, what I like is its reload time is pretty fast without sleight of hand. And it's a pretty pretty early unlock gun. I think it's a second unlocked machine pistol. It's probably after the FMG nines are going to be patched or nerfed. This is a gun you probably want to switch to. The Scorpions, this akimboed or dual wield is a monster. In my hand, in my experience, it's better than the dual wield FMG nines. It does have a slower fire rate, although its um, damage per bullet is makes up for it. Um, this is Super Brand 16, and I will give all credit to him for this gameplay. Um, we're playing um, Capture the Flag on Carbon. The thing I noticed a lot about this gun, that was a pretty sick knife right there, but the thing I noticed a lot about this gun is when you fire, it kind of, the recoil makes you go up, and it stops right when it reaches about their head. And right here, they're just take, he's taking out the Type 95 because he ran out of ammo in the scorpion. So, yeah, let's fast forward this. Mm. Alright, I think he used a Type 95 one other time because he's low on ammo. But yeah, it's all it's mostly all scorpion, pretty much is. Okay, that's what I was saying. When you shoot someone with the scorpion, it kind of like recoils up into their head. So it takes a lot less bullets to kill with the... Ex plus the strong bullets. So it's like ex extremely good. Also, um, if you use only one, I recommend Extended Mags for the Scorpion. Extended Mags, I believe, is better than the Akimbo because you can, um, I don't know if you can run faster, but you can get a lot more, I guess, people at once. You can get, like, probably triple kill with the Extended Mags, but with the Akimbo, your ammo's going to be running out pretty fast. As you notice by now, he, we're playing, um, Capture the Flag. Um, yeah, the carbon I already told you, I think, but he's using the strike package. Oh, my, what am I talking about? The <laughs> support strike package. I got, I got to get some sleep sometime. But support strike package with the UAV, good team player thing, a stealth bomber, as well as the juggernaut. This is one of the um, first, one of the first games after the game come out, so it's not the best you'll ever see, but it's a good to, we were testing out the Scorpion in the secondary, so we found out the Scorpion was one of the better right from the start. Use it pretty much the, pretty much the entire game, like secondaries really aren't meant for the entire game, but if you use the Scorpion the entire game, you're probably going to do good, unless the other teams like, really pro. Like, such as if, I've seen a lot of people using dual, dual wield FMG9s in the whole game a lot, and I'm pretty mad. If you use a dual wield, um, yeah, here's a Type 95 gun. Yeah. Let's fast forward to this part. Use the dual wield um, scorpions. They're actually extremely effective. And I think those will be, once they nerf the FMG 9, everyone will be having this, I, I bet. I'm just think, taking a guess here, but I think a lot of people will be switching to the scorpions. Because I believe the FMG 9s will just be pointless. They'll nerf them so much that uh, not too many people will want to use them. Um, I believe here I was at pretty low level, only like 60s. Um, now I'm third prestige level 60. So it was quite some time ago. That's double assist right there. Also, if you want to um, see any other secondary, such as a rocket launcher, something like other than a machine pistol, like which is most common, like a just a regular pistol, a rocket launcher, like an RPG or small. Something in that manner, we will test that out. I will test it out, excuse me. And see how that goes. And if you're 
probably going to be using a um, secondary the entire time, which is probably not going to happen, but I would recommend the specialist. And with the specialist, I would want the sleight of hand. Oh yeah, and by the way, I think specialist is a very, very overlooked strike package. I think it's better than support, and it can be better than assault sometimes. I've also heard the only way to get a MOAB, MOAB, is to use the specialist. Like, if you don't have the specialist on, you, it's like physically impossible to get a MOAB. And I've, by the way, never seen an assault nor support MOAB. I, I believe that's extremely rare, and I don't know if that, it probably has happened. I don't know if it's happened, but I've heard it's impossible. Like, it only works, MOAB's only activated if they're specialist. But that's what I just heard. Yeah, so I, I recommend Specialist with this Scorpion if you're going to be wanting to use it. Want to use it. And the things for Specialist would probably be Sleight of Hand, since you've got Extreme Conditioning on your normal perks. Um, then second, I would want to have probably... Uh, maybe Sit Rep or... I gotta think here. Blast Shield would be pretty good for the rushing. And... Third perk would probably want to be Assassin, something in that manner, one of the red perks. This Marksman is pretty, not that great. And this, actually, Scorpion, I don't know if you know, but actually has a lot of range. Like, I've got some pretty nice kills you just, like, tap-tap on the, um, right trigger. And here, I don't know if you noticed, but I think you probably did. It cuts out here because, dang connection, um, Infinity Ward always kind of crappy, so there's no, not even host migration, so it just left. But here, I'll hang with me for a second here. I'm going to show you another clip I had. I also was saying, yeah, you want to, and Specialist is really overlooked, so if you're going to be running, if you want to run Specialist, keep Hardline initially, so like you have Extreme Conditioning, Hardline, and, um, Maybe blind, no, no, not blind eye. Sit rep initially, and then you can build up specialist perks for only one for the first perk since you only have hardline on. All right, so this is right here. I see a bouncing Betty, right? Shoot my new tube. This is my, not my gun, by the way. I don't run new tubes. They suck in this game. And since they suck, oh, look at this. Boom, triple kill with a noob tube. I don't know what the hell just happened there, but that was a triple kill. And here's an outside heal. There's a triple kill, and the outside view is a little crazy. Three guys here, and YouTube hits. It's a triple kill, because I think the... I really didn't get the tri I got the triple kill because the chopper was, like, mowing him down, and somehow I got a triple kill, but pretty funny. Sorry if I sounded a little tired, because I've been running on Mountain Dew for the past day or two. <sighs> a lot of work. All right, well, thank you for viewing this video, and there will be more to come. Thank you, and see you later.